guys and gals, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. This is Mr. Arthur Morgan. Hanging out here at the docks, San Denis, last episode. Got a robbery tip. About a side business above the gun shop. Went up, robbed it, and didn't turn out too well. We had every uh, cop in the city after us. We did come across uh, Jim Calloway and the gunslinger, can't remember his name, and he gave us, uh, we have a new target, I'll call it. Who we have here? Who's CC? Charles, yeah, that dude. Um, It is quite a ways away. Right up here in Ansburg. Yeah, what's this dude's name? Gosh, I hate how it switches like that. Well, we're looking for somebody here. That's who we're looking for. It's a marshal, I believe. So we're going to fast travel to Ansburg if I can. Let's get my horse here. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. Let's go, girl. I think we've been to Ansburg. I mean, it's it's uncovered on the map, so. Let's see. Um, see if this is far enough out of town. I Probably not. To camp? No. Looks like this is the camp boundary or the town boundary here, so we'll roll up a little further. Yeah. You're not sure how this is going to go down? Probably not. Well, we're supposed says to capture him, but okay, we're just out of. Camp here. It's a crocodile right there. So the horse is going to bolt. Oh. Well, I was going to help him, but that dude uh, killed him. <laughs> Surely this is far enough out of damn town, right? I didn't want to loot them. I wonder if that's one of the things I need. Uh, we need to pick up some plumes and... I can't remember the other stuff we need. Let's fast travel. Antsburg. Oh, yeah, I remember. This is like the mining town. Spooky little town. He's just right here.
wanted. Can I grab that? No. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> All right, we find the outlaw camp, which is uh, it's going to be here. Like my my horse moved on me. Did it? Where the hell's my horse? There she is. Okay, girl. Been a while. Hadn't been a while. on a banjo. Wouldn't it be quicker just to uh, just go straight up? Oh, damn. <laughs> I was falling off a cliff there. There's a lot of hillbillies in this area. We got jumped twice out here. All right, let's make sure we're all set here. Make sure the gun's clean. May as well clean it, I guess. It does move around quite a bit when it's dirty, that's for sure. Let's get her dead eye. Fully restores dead eye. Let's eat up. how this goes here. They are hostile here. Oh, they got him tied up. What's that? I said this would get us into trouble. 
Holy shit! Come on, fucking fire! Yeah, I did. Let me loot him and then I'll come talk to you. Damn, man. <laughs> I was hiding behind a <laughs> dynamite crate or some shit. I got you. Just relax. I got to do something. I got bounties to pay, dude. I'm tied to this tree. I know you're tied to the tree. been praying for someone like you to come, son. I bet you have. Hey! Over here! You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Uh. Get rid of this waypoint. Where the hell's the drop-off point? Okay, it's not too far away. Surely yeah, gonna be, I know. Just gonna be ambushed tired. here. All will be revealed. Now you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was before you got so short with me. Son, what the hell are you up to? I ain't your son. I'm you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. Let me get on the damn trail here. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit, I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. This is it. Down here, it's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. So you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have. You'd shown up. You didn't I have was a weapon. There. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! But uh, shoot him in the back, really? Well, that settles that then. Shut up. I shot him in the goddamn back! When these things happen... God damn you! Goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down! Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato! 
Come on! Draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! God, I hate this. I hate that I have to do this draw shit. Just pull my damn weapon. Oh, so much quicker from the hip. Somebody gave me that shit. tip, too. Shit, indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, uh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Hey, he was pretty wild. I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No, and you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back, after he mortally wounded Slim Grant, fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. All righty. New weapons are available to purchase and modify in the shops. Very nice. All right, well, I guess he's, uh, he's out of here. See if he's got anything on him. Let's loot him. What if his revolver's any good? 240 on him. What the hell was that? I didn't know I could do that move. <laughs> oh, I could swap it. All right. I don't know if I care about swapping it. Yeah, so the draw thing, I was told this a while ago, but I didn't know how to do it. In that draw window, you're holding the right mouse button down, but you can just hit the uh, left mouse button at any time, basically, and pull the pistol. Hold on now, is this... Is this a good weapon or something it's showing me here? It's in yellow. Drop? No, I don't want to drop it. Can I just look at it? The hell do I pick it up? Fuck it, I don't want it. Hey there, girl. Alrighty. That's that. Looks like this is the edge of the map up here. Hold on, man. I need... Okay. Uh, let me... S I've never seen it be, uh, highlighted yellow like that. So let me switch. I could just switch it back if I don't want it. If I can figure out how to fucking switch it. Pick it up. No. Oh, there we go. All right. What does that look like? Callaway's right, uh, revolver? It's clean. Is that better than mine? I don't actually know. It's got a good fire rate. Let's look at mine. No, I think mine's better. I think mine's better here. This other pistol I have. Dual wield. Ooh. 
Well, I feel like an idiot. Now I'm dual wielding. How long have I been playing the game? And I just figured out that was an option to put it in the middle. Yeah, so now I'll be dual wielding. Wow. <laughs> I'm so good. All righty. What are we doing now? Let's get... We are a long way from home. Do I want to go see Charles here? Looks like we have nothing going on at the camp right now. Let's fast travel back to uh, San Denis, I guess. But if I'm going for headshots, is it... I wonder how that works with uh, dual wielding. Probably works better if I mark, mark them up more than one target, right? Is this the artist? I think this is the artist, uh, Charles, here. Of course, now he's not on the map. This happens quite a bit, I've noticed. Like, you'll have something, and you look at the map again, and you don't have anything. So let's go see who the stranger is here, I guess. Jump to the horse. A big show going on. Pretty sure we went to that theater. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. 
And even more obviously, I would be useless. Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Yeah. I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you... Yeah, but that's by your own choice. By your choices. They didn't have a choice. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. I wonder who that voice actor is. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Sadly and shamefully, the U.S. broke every treaty they ever made with the Indians. All right. We can meet him in a couple of days. Hold on now, girl. Let's you must get be you. damn stupid if you think you can come back here. I paid my bounty. Shut up before I kill all of you. <laughs> but yeah, we are damn stupid. I am surprised they found me on the rooftop, though. I was sure they would they weren't gonna find me up there. Alrighty. Well, daylight just broke here. Got another thing going on here. Let's see what this is about. Just inside the fence here. Why do I waste my time? Why? This guy up to. You okay, buddy? Uh, fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Uh, here, help me, please. <laughs> Back to work with a bloody smile. Oh, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall have the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Ah, yes. Toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? Got some electricity gonna be fine no. between there? No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes. Oh. You meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betrayal. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. <laughs> of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Really? Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté! Hello, hello, sir. Okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. 
a demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. Oh, no, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified Okay, genius. we got a limited range here. And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Go. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is the mind. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Busaconic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you yep. intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not Damn. Death, oh, it's coming for me. Migration of the soul. I make lifeless metal. Right, this is like kind that. of fun. Yeah. It's really weird. I'm not sure about that. Look out, look out. Do I have to get all the mines, I guess? How the hell did I miss that? Oh, I got another ship over here. to the dock. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. yeah, we have a target. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of park. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart cop. Oh, this we have more than one train. here. The telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just look who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will be. What is he supposed to be a representation of, of Tesla? Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, 
I will really amaze you. All right. I'll bring my big balls with me, I guess. I hope you will forgive my European course. Interesting. All righty. Well, let's go see Charles here. He's back. Uh, go out this way. Take care, I don't run over anybody. Yeah, pretty uh, shameful and sad about Tesla. It's going to provide free electricity to everybody, and uh, they realized how much money that could make. Pretty sure he died penniless. Just stare that. Where's the hell my damn hat at? This is the artist. He's upstairs, it looks like. Oh, yeah, so this is the gallery. We we helped this guy a couple episodes ago. He told us to come take a look at his gallery, but I, I ran off. Did something else. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. there sooner you can come out <laughs> i just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all just wait until you see his work it's very progressive well i'm not so very sure how i feel about progression paintings or otherwise come on you won't have seen the like of it before i promise that it's great maybe that's a good thing hold, hold on let me compose myself or could be roman Interesting art. Oh, he's got nudes. Okay, of course he does. Far too modern for my tastes. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. It's making me blush. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chardonnay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains <laughs> the decadence Your of Buddha the said that. Tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her... Delicate! <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you! That's it! <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. I'm a bitch! Oh, you God. filthy little man! Oh! <laughs> oh. Come on, horse! We are leaving! Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right! <laughs> Do I have to beat all these guys up? Hey, 
may as well loot them. Well, it's not dishonorable to do it. Good. Because <laughs> I'm doing it. Well, they don't have anything on them. Well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Why would you need to disappear? Seems like they willingly posed. I don't know. Who knows what's going on? Maybe this guy's like the Bill Cosby of uh, French painters. <laughs> Whatever that means. What did you say? It was not boring. <laughs> it was not. To test people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. What are we doing here? Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is a kick in the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> Alrighty. Interesting. Okay then, girl. Wow. Fine horse there. Thank you. I'm not gonna move because uh people get freaked out. And I'll have to hey, kill somebody. Yeah. Move. I saw something on the map here. What do we have up here? Oh, Eagle Flies. Well, I guess we'll do that next episode. Um, yeah. Let me see here. I don't think I have anything. Let's go to the fence. I may have a couple of things to sell here. And then we'll probably call it. The next episode, we'll go see Eagle Flies here. It's nice. How you feeling, buddy? Not too well, right? Yeah. Those uh, naked pictures are demonetization nodes, basically. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't monetize my videos right now anyway, but... If I tried to, I probably could not because of those pictures as ridiculous as that is. What do you want? What the hell? I just got this shirt. Back here. Can you believe I still have to find a way oh, he's actually right here. Wait a minute, where am I going? Yeah, he's right there. That's the the fur trader or the trapper, rather, not the fur trader. Welcome. You explore, explore. I have quite the stock. Do you? Let's see. Well, okay, I'll say what I have first. Wares. My wares. Look at what you can find hiding in the gutter. 
the gutter. Yes. Where's the fella who was here last time I came in? Oh, you probably mean my brother. Far away from here, I hope, not sullying my good name any further. So you don't know nothing about those fellers he had chained up in the basement? Of course not! I was out of town! Now, is there something I can help you with? I really don't want to talk about that sordid business. Incendiary buckshot? Interesting. I'm sure this stuff's good, but if we're if we're doing headshots, I don't know if it matters. Special Miracle Tonic. Let's buy that. Explosive Slugs. And that's all. Alrighty. I guess we're finished up. Well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll call it here for right now. Next episode, we'll go see Eagle Flies, I guess. Thanks for... <laughs> the hell's... The hell's the matter with Arthur? Maybe he's tired as hell. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. You guys and gals take care. Arthur and I will see you in the next episode. Peace. Mm -hmm.